one of our most productive summer annual legumes, in fact, I, I think our most productive, is sun hemp. Sun hemp, uh, so you can tell you don't see many legumes. They get this tall, this is about seven feet tall, and uh, there's a lot of biomass in this plant. It makes more biomass, more nitrogen, than any other summer annual legume. Also has a couple other neat attributes. The stems are very hard and woody. Uh, when you lay these on the ground, uh, they form a very persistent soil armor. It takes a long time for these things to decay, so that residue lasts a long time, providing soil protection. Uh, you can you lay these on the ground, it'll hold up animal traffic, it'll hold up vehicle traffic, kind of act like snowshoes that prevents further soil compaction. The highest nitrogen fixing summer legume we've got probably makes more nitrogen per day of growth than any other legume that I'm aware of. Um, just a, a very useful plant. The leaves are about 30% protein. It uh, does contain some alkaloids that make it somewhat bitter to grazing animals. They, they will voluntarily only make it a small percentage of their diet. But when planted in a mixture, this is a very, very valuable component. It also has these bright canary yellow flowers that come on late in the season and provide some late season nectar, uh, something that bumblebees, a uh, number of native bees, not a big honeybee plant, but it's a, a highly preferred uh, pollen and nectar for a number of our native bee species. So I think it's a, a plant that we should be using more of. It's a, um, I especially like a combination of sun hemp and cowpeas together because the sun hemp, as you can see, grows very tall and upright, and the cowpeas will vine up the sun hemp stems, and you get uh, a really, I, I guess, an uneven canopy uh, that spreads a lot of leaf area over an acre of ground. When you have sun hemp and cowpeas growing together, you can get three or four acres of leaves on one acre of ground, spread that sunlight over more leaf area, which gives you more photosynthesis, more biomass, and more nitrogen than either plant alone. Also, because sun hemp is so upright, it doesn't compete with weeds very well by itself. But when you can combine it with a vining plant like cowpeas that'll fill in all the gaps, that combination together is uh, very aggressive against weeds, in addition to making more nitrogen, more biomass, more pasture than either of the two species alone. Uh, great combination, one of my favorites during the summer.